prices. The pain at the pump is real, y'all. That's right. With inflation reaching new heights, families are pinching pennies more than ever. Here with some advice on how to save money on family fun this summer is Miriam Cook with Family Friendly Tampa Bay. So welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi. Glad to be back. Yes. <laughs> so you have a whole blog about how to entertain the family on a budget. What are some of your tips? You don't have to spend a lot of money, right? Yeah, you don't. And that's the great thing about our website there's so many resources on there we have an events calendar we have local guides uh, we actually have a 101 free things to do in the Tampa Bay area so you can have fun without having to shell out a bunch of money I love that well let's start with the St. Pete Pier what can we do there so much St. <laughs> right. Pete Pier St. Petersburg itself is just a great art district so St. Pete Pier they have the boardwalk there's a playground there's a splash pad yeah. there there's restaurants there's there's so much so and then of course going around st pete for the murals um it's free it's so nice to just go and take pictures around the murals okay yeah. and then you have uh the ringling if you haven't been there you really should go it's beautiful right it's yeah gorgeous absolutely gorgeous they have a beautiful gardens over there on mondays they actually offer free admission oh. um so you can bring your whole family if you want to go to the circus part it's a little bit extra but okay. you can actually see most of the museum for free it's, it's wow. really gorgeous one of the best attractions in Sarasota. Yeah. I had no yeah. idea you can get them free on Monday. I didn't That's either. for anyone of any age. Oh yeah, right? anybody. It doesn't you don't have to have kids. Yeah, <laughs> you can spend the whole day there too. But yeah, the circus museum is a lot of fun. It it, is, but yeah, it is yeah. like, you know, for some of the parts of the museum you have to pay extra. So it's yes. nice to just get in for yes. free and then you pay extra for those other things. Exactly. Yeah, Lovely. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay, and then what do we have next? We have St. Augustine. We were just talking about St. Augustine, how a lot of people do those fourth grade trips because fourth graders, it's a good time to go because they get in free. Yeah, so, so they get into free into all the national parks. Ah. Um, so all you have to do is sign up for free and they actually can go there's a Castillo uh, de San Marco it's a monument mm -hmm. over there at the fort big yes, fort so family can go in there for free and if you're actually leaving um, Florida and visiting national parks you can go into there for free as well oh, good so to it's know. all across Road the US trip. yeah trip. even though gas prices but yeah, <laughs> if you want to venture over there I know exactly <laughs> well uh, let's talk about uh, some free opportunities to watch movies here yes. in the Tampa Bay area yes yeah, so with the pandemic that kind of went away but now that we're back um, they actually have free two dollar movies Regal okay. five dollars on Tuesdays so there's so many options for families to go um, during the during the summer break okay yeah because yeah, going to the actual movie theater can get expensive you mentioned they have those free opportunities like in the parks and outside but it's hot right yes. so you can go into the theater and not spend yes, an arm right. and a leg right yeah so exactly nice, especially yes. if multiple children oh definitely yes. so yeah there's definitely free option low cost and then you can just pay for your popcorn right and, yes but at least you can get in there for free. you can get in then you can right. spend the money on the good stuff like exactly. the candy on the snacks, <laughs> right yes <laughs> Exactly. All right, and let's talk about Zoo Tampa. That's always a fun one. Yeah. Yeah, Zoo Tampa is great. And also, the great thing about Zoo Tampa, just any membership, you can actually get reciprocal membership. So you can get free or discounted admission to local attractions. Huh. Um, so that's a really good tip there. But for Zoo Tampa, they're offering Hillsborough County government employees free admission mm -hmm. into the park this nice. summer and discounted admission for their for their families. Oh, that's wonderful. So, yeah. And okay. there's about 5,000 employees that applies to. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. So you have this list of 101 free things to do. Is there one other thing on that list? We have a little bit of time that you want to shout out that comes to mind. <laughs> I know it's hard to pick one more. I know. Free. Um, well, there's, you know, right, we have yes. kids skate uh -huh. um, free, which is great. And then there's, of course, kids bowling. And what we have done for families, we have a really great guide here that you oh, can pick up okay. on our website. So if you sign up, become a subscriber, you'll get oh. like a great list of Amazing. things to do you can just check off for the summer yes and yeah. how funny to have the kids like pick one for exactly the week or something so but sometimes you're just like what do we, what, what what can you do so all you right. need is print it out put it on your refrigerator yep. Let's check it off. 18 I love that. things, summer fun and deals guide. Very, yes. very cool. Hey, love you that. can find this and that list of 101 free things to do in Tampa Bay by heading to this website, familyfriendlytampabay.com.